Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into a new note-taking app that I haven't tested out before. This application is called NoteJoy, which is a name I do love, a funny name, but it is called uh, NoteJoy. It feels a lot like um, something like OneNote or even Evernote uh, for those of you who are familiar with those two. And in today's video, I'm just going to do a quick overview on the different like features it has and how it works and my initial thoughts on the application. So if that sounds interesting, let's jump into it and we will actually start off with the pricing plan. So it has a few pricing plans and this application is tailored more towards teams and less towards individuals which you will figure out by the end of this video but we have the free version which allows you up to five users per library and i will explain everything with libraries and notebooks but you get um five users per library up to three uh team members per uh up to three team libraries sorry so five libraries and up to three uh, team libraries, up to five notebooks, uh, 10 megabyte per file upload and 100 megabyte file storage. But uh, actually the solo plan, which allows you uh, only one user per library, unlimited personal libraries, unlimited notebooks, is actually quite cheap. It also, also gives you things like offline access, search inside images and documents. So it has OCR, end-to-end uh, -end encryption, password protected notes, two-factor uh, authentication, archive notes, notebooks, and even libraries, note history, export notes, recover, deleted notes, and priority support. One thing to keep in mind, uh, since this uh, is here, export notes is uh, available in the solo plan but not in the free plan it might mean that you are actually not able to export your notes on this plan you also have the plus plan which is more tailored towards teams so how i view this pricing is that this is for teams this is for uh solo users this is for people who want to have all of their files inside of this application, people who upload a lot of files. Uh, so you will get away with just paying $4 each month. And I actually think that this is paid uh, per month billed annually. So this is per month billed annually uh, $4 each month if you pay annually, which is really, really cheap. Uh, so the pricing on this is actually quite good now let's check out the application so i talked about libraries and notebooks so think of libraries as folders and you have like private libraries your own libraries which is these ones right here this is daniel's library and i also have something called a test library which is my team library and here i can invite team members how many you can invite depends on your um, team's plan but we actually do have real-time collaboration inside of here. So you can invite team members and they can uh, edit and you can work together inside of the uh, application, uh, which is really good. So you have collaboration features there. Uh, but inside of your library, you can actually add notebooks. Uh, let's do a test notebook. You could use para inside of here uh, if you wanted to. And I could go ahead and I could add note. Uh, let's do test note. Uh, and let's do hashtag test to see if tags work as well. If I now go into tags, uh, add tags to notes by putting uh, hashtag in the note title or in the body. It is supposed to work, but I will need to let me try if I put it in the note body instead. So let's do hashtag test. Now it should work. So it shows me all of the notes tag test. But one thing I just want to test out if if I do test two here and I also give this hashtag test, does this work? So I can actually, uh, that's a really cool feature. So. Um, if you're using either the test library or uh, your private one, you can actually use tags across 
multiple of your libraries so a way for you to see how um, to see uh, notes inside of different libraries and notebooks a way to consolidate all of those notes so really neatly set up there you also have this recent view which allows you to uh, see your recent notes uh, you have like basic editing uh, in the bottom here uh, as you can see so we have like uh, basic editing you can press this and write and you will get an h1 h2 h3 uh, let's see if it works with markdown as well and it does so you have basic markdown editing but you don't have any back uh, slash functionality but you get everything you need from here so i'm guessing that all of these actually also work in markdown and they do so uh, this is also a really a cool way to set it up to have like uh, your uh, the uh, your formatting options down here but also uh, that you can use markdown you have sharing ability so i can copy url or i can send via email uh, but overall this feels like a really simple uh, note-taking application so the structure is like folders notebooks uh, and then notes uh, just like uh, this right here or you have a folder which is called library uh, then you have uh, your notebooks uh, and you can have notes within those notebooks but you also have tags to be able to find your uh, different your different notes through tags as well one way this could be great is to consolidate your tasks so every time you have a note that has a task inside of it you can actually give it hashtag task and it will appear uh, here and you can see all of your tasks that is one way to use this but overall i feel like this application is priced very very well uh, it has ocr as well on the paid plans so this looks like uh, actually a real Evernote uh, competitor uh, and I will be playing around with this application more and hopefully come with uh, more information and a new video maybe even a tutorial but I am really liking this uh, application uh, with the real-time collaboration the ability to add comments and just the overall feel of the application and the fact that it is really simple I feel like that is really important in um, note-taking applications like this that they are really simple to use uh, especially if they are focusing on um, teams which this application is doing um, it has a focus towards uh, teams uh, and that's why it needs to be very very simple but i like a good simple note-taking app so this if you're looking for something cheaper a cheaper alternative to evernote this might actually be it as usual if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching today's video